time for me to find us somewhere to put all of these guys. I put the uh, mini tunnel over them to keep the storm that we were supposed to get on Sunday from killing them, but we didn't really get a storm and it actually sunburnt and killed several things, even though I tried to vent it as well as I could. You're gonna eat it first? You heard it, Little Creek Homestead. Gabriel and Sawyer have accepted your challenge. We already have Moon and Stars watermelon seeds, so we'll get those started here in the next couple of weeks. I don't know. I hope so. I don't think you win the watermelon seeds. I think you win lots of other seeds, but you try to grow the biggest watermelon. Isn't that what they said, Gabriel? Yeah. Yeah. Still have quite a few that need to go into the large pots, but the peppers are gonna have to be done too. Look, here's just some of them. I've got peppers all over the place. I've got small tomatoes that need to go into cups like this. This one got broke at the base about five days ago and it's doing really well. So hopefully I've got some root hormone in there. Hopefully it'll reroot and it'll be fine. I've got a few still down here, but most of them are outside. I'll show you. So here's where most of my gallon pots are right now. Out here, hopefully getting some sun because you can see they've had a rough past couple of days. Um, it's a little breezy today for them. I'm gonna kind of keep an eye on them and hope that they'll be okay out here. They really just need the sunshine though. I feel like I've been doing nothing but potting up plants for two days. Oh, because I have. Ha <laughs> ha. Too funny. Um, this is the last tray I'm working on for right now. I have already filled up one tray with things potted up. And I have all different sizes, so I'm putting these into smaller cups and these into bigger cups. This is artichoke here. I've never grown artichoke before. Have you? I'm real excited to see how it does, but you can see some of them are falling over. So they definitely uh, were getting a little leggy. I up potted more tomatoes. <laughs> I can't wait to have a greenhouse with a potting bench. We have uh, a few chores ahead of us today. It's a little bit cloudy, but it's supposed to be 81 today. I mean, holy cow. It's a bit breezy, but see that plastic that's over there was on our low tunnel and we were drying it out. So we got that one dry and we've got to put the other one up on the line. I have some garden work to do and Gabriel, Gabriel just asked me if he could make something with violets today and then he asked me if we could make violet jello. I've never made violet jello, but I'm up to the challenge. I'm not sure if there's a recipe for it, but I think I can figure it out. So he's gonna be picking a ton of violets today. Daddy. The thing, I need my laundry line. So I'm gonna get this last piece of plastic done so that I can dry some clothes hopefully today. We don't use a dryer, we have one, but we don't even have it hooked up. So that's what works for us right now. You can. You're eating the stem? Yeah. Okay. Guys, it is definitely spring explosion. I mean, everything is going crazy. 
show you we brought Glinda and Loria down yesterday. Of course, Sabrina's still kind of being a bully, but probably next week we'll be moving this. So since we're going to be moving this soon, we wanted to go ahead and get them back out here. Sabrina was really lonely. I just wish she quit being a bully. Quit being a bully, Bina. Bina goat. Yeah. Hello, baby blueberries. Let me keep an eye on the temperature on this. Um, this heats all of our hot water in our house and our house keeps our house warm and we hope to eventually use it to heat a greenhouse as well. While it's pretty warm out, I just have to keep a little wood in it so it keeps our water hot. Our little bitty lettuce that I succession sewed behind these are starting to come up. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, I promise they're there. I love red buds. This one is not the healthiest tree and it is right on the road. But they're so pretty. And did you know they taste like sweet peas? You can eat them. Yummy. Eat them? Yep, but don't eat them all. They're pretty. Is there a cereal? Mm -hmm. think? Good. Mm -hmm. mm. Alright, that doesn't mean eat them all. Sorry, Ryan. Mm. Mm. Too for now. This is chickweed. I didn't even know we had this patch of chickweed up here and it's gone to flower. And this um, is an edible. Uh, Kind of like the violets, you can forage. And lots of things you can eat right here. Apparently, I'm a it's <laughs> it's kind of like um, it's real good for you. Kind of like spinach, chickweed. You can make pesto with it. So there are Gabriel's violets. There are probably three cups here of violets, which I like. I said I haven't even looked up a, anything that might give me an idea of how to make this, but I have faith that we'll do it. Here's eggs from last night. I miss our blue layer, but we do still have a green layer. I am going to attempt to make violet jello because it's what Gabriel asked for today. And um, it's been a while since I've made homemade jello. I did get some beef gelatin recently, so I'm going to give it a try. I have never, ever, ever made violet jello. The first thing I need is a cup and a half of cold water, and I'm going to dissolve three tablespoons of beef gelatin beef. into that. Yes, beef gelatin. It won't taste like beef, okay? <laughs> I'll show you here. So that's what it looks like right now. And it's going to kind of dissolve in there. While that's doing that, I need to get these flowers um, and turn them into some syrup. I'm trying to weigh out the blossoms here to see how many I have. You only want the blossoms. You don't want... I mean, violet leaves are actually pretty good for you, but you don't need leaves or stems, just blossoms. So I have two ounces of blossoms. I just put boiling water on these. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to steep them in here for a little while. You can see the water is... Already starting to kind of get a blue tint to it. All right, so if you look, you can kind of see that the water is turning blue. It is? Yep. Watch. See the fork? Oh, yeah. When I made violet jelly a few years ago, I actually let the violets sit in the water overnight. That's not a firefly, buddy. I'm not sure what that is. Some sort of a beetle. Um, but since I've already dissolved the gelatin and whatnot, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually, like I said, I'm making this up as I go. So it's blue right now, but when I add lemon juice to it to give it just a little bit of flavor, it's probably going to turn more purple because I'm not going to put a whole lot of lemon juice in it. The more lemon juice you put in it, the acid reacts with it and makes it more of a pink color, if I'm remembering correctly. Um but I am going to sweeten it with honey and I'm going to put some lemon juice in it to give it a little bit more flavor. 
and then we'll go from there. So I'm just going to strain these uh, violets off. And I'm going to smash them and get that juice all out of there. We have compost bucket. That's where those babies go. Alright, I'm just going to dump this back in the air. You can see how blue it is. Whoa. Isn't that a pretty color? Uh huh. Is that what the color No, because I'm going to put just a little lemon juice in it. I'm not really a great measure. I did measure the gelatin because I definitely want to make sure it gets thick enough. I'm still not entirely sure I shouldn't put more gelatin in there. But I'm going to use about a quarter of a cup of honey. This is local honey. We don't have any fresh lemon, so be using that. At this point in time, we have violet tea. Really? Oh, yeah. See? I don't know. A cap full or two of lemon juice in? Just something to give it a little bit more flavor. You see it starting to turn purple? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's because of the acids reaction. Must be hot in the juice. Can you see? It is now purple instead of blue. It smells like lemonade now. You made violet lemonade? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. Can you try it? There you go. Does it need anything else? Yeah. What does it need? Well, yeah, but does this need anything else? No. Okay. I don't think so. All right, because we've never made this. This is like just a made-up recipe, so. Mm, I want to go pick this twice as many bottles. Um, no, let's leave some for the bees. Let's leave some for the bees. If you know anything about Jello, you know it takes forever to make sure you get all the gelatin mixed in, which is why you start with the pre-dissolving in the cold water. Ready? No, now it's got to go in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. Oh. I know. I'm kind of thinking maybe it'd be better in that container, though, than in this big Whoa. Not cold for it anymore. No, not as much because we mixed it in with the gelatin. So it lost some of its pretty hue, but hopefully it'll still be tasty. It'll certainly be nutritious. Gelatin has all kinds of wonderful health benefits, and so do violets. And so does raw honey. So we've got... Uh, some pretty powerfully packed snacks. So I was walking down through here this morning and I noticed this. See those little holes? All of my purple lady bok choy have little holes. And they look like flea beetle holes. But I really haven't seen a flea beetle yet. I'm watching for them. But I'm going to put some DE on them. And uh, hope that I get rid of them. <clears throat> it's so incredibly windy, I hope it'll, some of it stays. I had a few more things to get planted today, but it didn't happen, and that's so okay. Sometimes things just don't get all completed on a homestead. We have a busy day, and there was a lot going on. Uh, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you think about our farm and what kind of things you've made with violets. Don't forget to share this with your friends. You never know who might enjoy it. What you eating? I don't know. Was it good? Mm -hmm. It is. Let me see. Oh, it's about melted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did you stir it up or something to make it runny? Because I know it wasn't runny. You did? You stirred it. It was good and firm. So my recipe worked. The kids are enjoying it. You're a mess. It's not what? As sweet as regular jello. It's not as sweet as regular jello. I used honey. And I didn't use a ton of it. I taste it. Yeah? Mmm. Okay guys, there it is. Violet jello. And the boys are loving it.